Hello there, Jose Rodriguez, aka J Toolman 1949 with you again. In this video, I'm going to share with you two projects that I made in my shop. I designed this one time when I was in the process of building my milling machine. The first thing that I made was I needed to have something where I could divide something in this plane. In other words, on a drill press basically because at that point I did not have a milling machine so as you can see this tool is designed to have a 3 quarter 16 thread which matches the tag spindle and also the internal taper which matches also the tag collets basically what it is is two discs they are lined in steel internally there is a circular groove cut with a 1 8 radius lathe tool and there are quarter inch ball bearings sitting spaced equally around the periphery about 10 of them and so basically this can be made to turn I have drilled 60 equally spaced holes and this allows me once this is clamped to the table on your mill you can actually rotate this say for instance start in position zero set up your mill to drill a hole move to position five drill a hole ten and so on all the way back to zero and you will have spaced twelve holes equally so this comes in very handy again like I said it's very very simple you can only do whatever number is divisible into sixty so that's 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 really neat now then I made this one this is a little bit more ambitious it's a 60 to 1 rotary head as you can see it works beautifully there is no backlash whatsoever on it I have a wheel in the front that I can set whatever as I'm working I can zero a position say for instance I begin here so I set it to zero and I want to go one revolution back to zero <laughs> that's quite quite a, a, a high degree of an or number of divisions that you can make with this and I use this when I was building my mill I just wanted to share this with you it's a, it's a very nice nifty little device the spindle sits super tight side here is slit so I can actually clamp loosen or tighten the bore that this portion comes into contact with the diameter of this shank or the the spindle shaft so right now it's set for absolutely no play and it works beautifully I have done a number of gears with this tool and they have come out perfect so that's basically it you can actually attach this to it because again remember three quarter sixteen so any kind of uh, workpiece that's either threaded to that thread or using a tag three jaw chuck this can be a gear for instance that I will machine using a involute gear cutter all right so again I just wanted to share a couple of little things with you all in case you liked it please hit the like button if you have any comments any questions about any of this how I made it any of the parts please ask me below please subscribe I'm trying to get this fledgling channel going so until the next time happy machining and bye bye